Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I'm Michael Sandler, your host on Inspire Nation. If you've ever felt we needed greater peace or an end to the wars right now, then do we have the Peace Experiment show for you. Today, I'll be talking with Lynn McTaggart, the amazing investigative journalist, best-selling author, and the creator of The Power of Eight. Can we use group intention and group meditation to stop war? Well, I've done about 10 peace intention experiments, and we've seen some amazing results. I am an investigative reporter by training, as you mentioned. I started out my career trying to put bad guys in jail. You know, I started out my career trying to bust a baby selling ring, which I did, which was the the subject of my first book, at, you know, and it was hidden tape recorders and all of that investigative type stuff. And I segued into covering things about health and conventional medicine in particular and the dangers of it. So I started investigating that with my husband, Brian Hubbard, who's also a journalist, when we started our newsletter, What Doctors Don't Tell You, now 33 years ago. And in the course of doing that, I kept coming across very good studies of things like spiritual healing, acupuncture, homeopathy. And I kept wondering to myself, particularly about spiritual healing, if we can have a thought and send it to someone else and make them better, that in itself undermines everything we think about how the world works. And so I set out trying to find out whether there was such a thing as human energy fields. And what I discovered was not a simple answer, but a bunch of scientists working in consciousness research who had each discovered a small patch of land that was essentially a new ver uh, version of the world, something that compounded when all put together into a completely new science, a completely new view of the world. But scientists like to stay in their own comfortable little patch. Yes. Everybody had discovered a bucket of earth, as I like to say, but nobody wanted to declare it a continent. So that job got left to me. And in the course of that, it really changed me. And I started wondering more about the whole idea of thoughts and how thoughts are things that can affect other things. And that led me to more and more and wanting to test it with the intention experiments and then wanting to shrink it down to see what would happen if I just put people in a small group of eight. And the idea for the intention experiments had a bit to do with transcendental meditation. Yeah. That organization had done a lot of studies showing that if you have a critical mass of meditators in a particular area, the crime rate will go down. And that started me thinking, with meditation, it is a, a passive act. You know, you are just trying to get to no mind. So I wondered, well, if thoughts are things that affect other things, and there are lots of studies that I was coming across with these scientists to show that is the case, I wondered what, how far we could take this, number one. You know, what are we talking about here? Are we talking about big things like ending wars or curing cancer or just little, little things? And secondly, what would happen if lots of people are thinking the same thought at the same time? Does that magnify the effect? 